Hello everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So today I wanted to do another episode on uh, basically just doing a bunch of shrines because I really need to. I want to get more hearts um, because I want to get the Master Sword. I don't know if hearts are needed for the Master Sword, but I also just want hearts, so missing pathways. So yeah, this will be our first shrine and I'm going to try and do as many as I can in this video. So let's begin here. Alright, well, this is simple enough. We just need to ascend. Okay, so it looks like here we'll need to ascend, or we need this block in order to ascend all the way up. So, yeah, that makes sense. Because otherwise we'd just be stuck down there, so. Okay. Alright, so similar deal. We have water, a block, and then that's where we need to go. Okay, so yeah, we put the block there. We ascend up here. Glide to the block and then ascend up there and then that's probably it yep and that's the end of the shrine awesome all right on to the next one hidden metal okay so oh yay electrical puzzles all right yeah this is in the gerudo area after all oh wait yeah this adds a whole new level of stuff because we can just attach the metal with our hand so we don't have to like connect stuff with other metal or you know, chain them over stuff. It just connects right over. Oh, that is awesome. All right, so it looks like roughly the same deal. Although, these two are kind of far apart. Unless we can, like, pendulum close enough. Yeah, there we go. All right, perfect. The momentum made them get close enough, so we could do that. And then we can ascend through these. Okay, yeah, and I guess the power is carrying on so even if we did somehow skip ahead we wouldn't be able to do anything so we can grab this but I don't think it'll reach but we can do this wait what did it just go through maybe I just didn't do it right all right so that can stay but we need something else for it and then there's this gear Ooh, a mighty zonite shield I think this is a new shield I've never gotten one and it, oh wow, it has a 50 shield uh, normally? That's nice. And did you to more efficiently use an attached Zonite device? So yeah, this is like really big deal. Awesome. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can attach that. Well, yeah, we don't need that gear anymore. So is this made of metal? It is. Oh, well, that, that's it? Okay, well, that was incredibly simple. And it stays up there. And that's literally the whole shrine. All right, on to the next one. A sliding device. Oh, this will probably be used... Ah, yeah, sleds. Oh, and they're on sand, of course, right, because sand uh, naturally just lets you slide down easily. So, oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is probably going to be really cool. Okay, yeah, so we probably want recall, so we'll wait a second. Okay, then get in its path and hop on, probably, hopefully. Yes, okay, there we go. And then ride it up. Alright, there we go. And then I guess this thing doesn't sink and the fan is strong enough. Nice. And then we can steer with this. So there's the end, but surely there's a chest. Oh, yep, there it is. So yeah, I guess this is actually just a matter of steering. There's not really any obstacle. And then the end is literally right there. I don't, yeah, I don't think there's anything stopping me. I got the chest and yeah, everything. Okay, so yeah, on to the next shrine then. That one was nice and easy. Buried light. Oh, okay, we probably need... Oh, wait, will the fan work? I was going to say a Korok frond. So wait, can I hit it and then, like, pick it up and use it? Yes, okay, and then we just blow the sand away. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, this is a really cool puzzle. I like that. And yeah, we don't necessarily need, like, a weapon to do it, because the Zonai device uh, blows as well. Alright, so we freed the mirror. I don't know if we really needed the fan to do that, but there's something here. Oh, okay, we can go under here? Oh, this maybe is for the chest. Okay, so with his fan guster... There we go. Okay, so we unbury the gear, which reveals the chest. Okay, great. Alright, so we do have the mirror, and then there's the thing over there. So where do we get this light? Oh, yeah, this looks like it. Yep. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, a massive light source has been uncovered. And then I guess we just 
point it through here. Hmm, I wonder if that will work. So I've angled it. And then if I, like, hold the mirror up... I, yeah, I, I can probably do that. Let's try it. Okay, yeah, we hold it up. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Alright, nice. That was an awesome uh, shrine. And yep, we got the chest and everything. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, a fixed device. Oh, it's the um, the little skewer things. Yeah, they're, this is probably one of the un most unique ones. Basically, yeah, if you stick the sharp end into a wall or anything really, then it just stays in there, which is crazy for platforms and stuff. So, okay, it looks like we need this ball. So I'll just grab it. Um, I don't know where it goes, but we'll just leave it there. Oh, okay, so there's a massive target. Will that stay? Yeah. What's this do? Oh, oh, okay, so when you hit this, that thing right there spins. And then, I get it, so we probably need to make a whacker and then make the ball thrust into there. Oh, yes! There we go, perfect! Alright, well that's the end of the shrine, but what about this butt? Oh. Oh, okay. So they're gonna make me work double time for the chest. Alright then. Oh, yes! Okay. Wow! Okay, you just had to time the shot, and then I, I lifted that thing out of the way with one of the skewers. Okay, and then that's it. Alright, on to the next shrine. <laughs> oh, combat train training? Okay, well, this is simple enough. You can reflect a projectile if you parry with your shield at just the right time. There we go. Well done. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I need a non-metallic shield. Nice. Okay, there we go. That was simple enough. Yeah, Zona is like stone and, or it's stone or whatever material they use, so it doesn't get electrified, nor does it burn. So it's actually very nice. And that's the shrine. All right, on to the next one. An upright device. Oh, I wonder, is this the stabilizer, maybe? Yep, it is. Okay, very cool. So yeah, when you hit these things, they always stand upright. That's one of the nice things. But, uh, oh, I see. Maybe if I rotate it, um, it'll launch me. Shoot it. Yes! Oh, nice! Okay, that was, like, just enough. And yeah, see, it'll always stand upright, uh, so you can manipulate stuff like that for this purpose. Yeah, there's nothing stopping me from doing this. Okay, well then, uh, yeah. Alright, and then there's another one of those, so... So yeah, clearly we need to attach this to this. And then, uh, might as well get the chest. Alright, so we put the ball in the bowl, not attached, and then do this. Oh yes, that was just enough. Alright, and then I guess we'll just climb out. Alright, and then we get another one. Oh, maybe this is just to extend the stabilizer we have here to get enough momentum. Alright, so the so this is longer now. So if we do that... Yeah, that ought to be enough. Yes, perfect. Alright, nice. Okay, that was a really cool shrine. Alright, on to the next one. Scoop it in, or scoop it out, rather. Hmm. Alright, well that's the end, so we just gotta open a door. And then, okay, so there's probably a ball track. Oh, wait, there's many balls. Okay, so I guess the trick will just be a matter of getting one. Oh, heh, I see that chest buried in there. Oh, that's, that's pretty funny. Alright, so it looks like we need to complete the circuit with this, which is pretty simple. Alright, and then it does that. Hmm, I wonder, could we attach a ball to the to this wheel or maybe it doesn't matter because as long as we can get up there then we can just take it so that's actually incredibly simple because yeah i mean there's this track and all but there's nothing stopping us from just coming up here and grabbing it ourselves in fact i am kind of curious what will happen i'll just have this ready because i assume it'll detach because it can't move oh okay well actually that I didn't even need the metal thing, or the plate. Okay, wow, that was incredibly simple. Alright then, well, uh, 
Did I get the chest? Yeah, there was this just buried in the ball. So, all right, on to the next shrine. Oh. Oh, this was just a blessing shrine. This was the one underneath Robbie's lab. Wow, okay, I'm kind of embarrassed, but, uh... All right, whatever, on to the next shrine, then. Jump the gaps. Hmm, okay. Jump the gaps. What's... Oh, is there a button? Or no, there's a ball. Oh, okay, well, Oh, whoa, look at that. Well, actually, this might just be as simple as launching a ball. So what does this do? Oh, okay, it readies a ball. But, of course, that happened. So, oh, do we just need to make a ramp? Uh, yeah. Alright, nice. Okay, that was very simple. But, it worked, so... Alright, this should open the door, and then we can move on. Oh, oh, I bet I know what to do. So if we take this one, right, and use it as a prop, that way, um, it'll launch it up, and because there's no slope. Right, okay, just like that. So we hit this ball, or this switch, it releases a ball, and then it goes over there. Nice, alright, perfect. And, oh, that's the end of the shrine. Alright, nice, and I found, or I got the chest, um, so yeah, on to the next shrine. Backtrack. Oh, backtracking? <laughs> yeah, that's, um, something you usually have to do in this game. Wait, can I recall this? There we go. Oh, maybe that's what it means. Backtracking the items. Okay, well that was simple enough. And um, we have some water with some current. Are those... Oh. Okay, I see. Oh wait, oh there's a thing, okay. So I can probably light an arrow, I guess. Not really necessary, I can just use a fire fruit. Uh, that way I can do this. Oh, oh, I need to light those things. Well, what's stopping me from just using a fire fruit? I don't get it. Alright, so I can do this. I can just light my arrow. Light one, and then just light the other with another arrow. So, that was really basic. I didn't even notice what I needed to do. Alright, yeah, there we go. Hmm, weird. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is kind of cool. So there's two ball slots and two gates. So, assumably... I would need to put them in each and then recall the ball and then time it just right. So I assume this one is for the second gate? Yeah, okay. So, we'll leave that in there for a moment. And then we'll pick it up and throw it into the new- the next one. We recall the ball, which I did leave in the second one long enough, hopefully. Well, yeah, we could just- if we just stand right here... Or we could just stop it, actually. If we just stop it, then it'll stay there. Okay, that that's actually much simpler than I was thinking. I thought we had to time it. But that's it. Uh, yeah. Alright, on to the next shrine. The way up. Okay. This probably will just need ascend. Yeah, I, I see. We just place this, um, platform right here. Then ascend right through it. Alright. And then... Similar... Although, this only has one thing. I wonder, will it balance? Oh, no, it won't balance. Okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe that'll work. If I just use that as a, a stand, as long as I don't knock it over. Might even just attach it. There we go. Actually, that's, that's perfect. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that's the end right there. Um, but there is still a chest. Okay, there it is. I probably just need to make a bridge. Wait, what? Um... Huh. Okay, I don't know why that worked. I don't think that's what was supposed to happen. But it worked, okay. Well, on to the next shrine then. Against the flow. Ooh, okay, lava puzzles. Um... Oh, okay, that's on a thing. I was gonna just drag it over. Alright, so we have these stone platforms. So, interesting, so that's how they make them longer, if you just have the water go over and then it, yeah okay so it just makes a larger area but it, interesting it said against the flow so maybe we'll have to recall some of them oh hello oh right okay here we go so this will need recall for for sure because we need to make it over there to get the ball oh boy <laughs> I've made a bit of a mess here ow okay um actually the water put me out that was nice all right so 
now that there's a massive collection of these, it should be easy enough just to land on it. And then grab the ball and carry it uh, over there. Okay, great. All right, so that opened the door. And I see the end. But I don't really see... Oh, okay, there's some hydrants up there. And we'll probably even... Oh, we'll need the fans for our <laughs> new ship. Nice, okay. It's only turning slightly. But we should make it. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, I got my toe in there, but it's fine. Alright, yes, alright, that's the end. Nice, on to the next shrine. Wield Wonders. Wield Wonders, <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, check this out. Well, I guess all we gotta do is attach the bridge. Do it up there. There we go. Yeah, I guess we don't have to attach it where it broke, because it would be lower. Oh, okay, so this is a Wield Wonder. And I guess it will carry us over, but we need the this bridge part, so I guess I'll just drag it over. I don't see the need to attach it to this thing. No, 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 no. Oh, whoops. All right. Um, I don't think this thing was designed properly. Oh, God. All right. Well, I made it. Uh, so that's all that matters. All right, so we have this bridge. Um, wait a minute. Maybe this was a lot less complicated than I initially thought. Maybe I was supposed to attach the bridge... Oh, come on. Uh, attach the bridge to the wheeled wonder, and then it would be close enough. Oh, wow, it actually can't do it. Well, whatever, I got here, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so there's two of these. What if I just attach them, though? Wouldn't it be more stable that way? Yeah, there we go. Now it won't roll away or flip over. Alright, very nice. And I want to keep it, so I'll just sh uh, shut it off. And then we can ascend through here. Alright, so we have another vehicle. And there's all these balls. And then there's this bridge part. But why do I need... What's the deal here? Oh, is it like if this gets depressed, it's bad? Or, or it needs to be? Maybe a collective of balls would work? Oh, I get it. It's it's just to save time. I, yeah, I could ultra hand these all, but if I just do something like this, there we go. Yep, and then it's just a scooper. Then you activate it, and then it pushes them in. All right. Well, that's actually really cool. It's a great idea. So I assume enough of these would weigh it down, right? Uh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. All right, and that's it. Oh, that is a really cool idea. That is such a great way to use this stuff. So yeah, on to the next shrine then. A controlling device. Oh cool, the uh, the steering wheel, or whatever. Alright, well that honestly just sounds like fun. So yeah, let's just grab on. And they've already built me a vehicle and everything. So it's funny, a lot of these shrines are just simply like teaching you the different devices and the various ways you can use them. Oh, there's a ball, we probably need that. And yeah, you can attach balls to your vehicle. So if I stop here, and then just bring it and then, no, don't put it underneath, and then attach it, then um, it will stay on, it won't roll away, so that's honestly very important. Alright, so, I wonder, can I run you over? Yeah, I can, kind of. Well, I actually ran him over, wow. But uh, he didn't die, so. Alright, so we're gonna go off, and then I'm gonna pull up. Is that enough? Yeah, okay, no, two fans is enough. Unfortunately, shrines don't require battery, so it's all, like, magically powered through the room. Alright, and then that's literally the end of the shrine, so, uh, uh, on to the next one. Spinning gears. Okay, so we will probably need, a uh, recall for this. So I see a ball. Yep, okay, so it's gonna, um, spin the other way so it won't fall off the edge, and then go in there. Alright, that's, um, nice and simple. Hmm, okay, and interestingly, this, sh this gear isn't spinning. So we'll need to find a way to make that happen. So, okay, there's a crank, which I guess I can act, I can do. Oh. Oh wait, okay, so if I spin it this way, maybe, then if I recall it, it will activate or, you know, move, and then I can hop on. I just gotta spin it enough times. Um, yeah, hopefully I did this right. Alright, well, wait, that's actually the end. I don't, I didn't find a chest, so hold on a moment. 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that actually was the solution? Oh, no way. Huh. I just, like, went through the gear, like, underneath it. Oh, that is crazy. That's what they wanted me to do? Yeah, and that's the chest. All right. So on to the next shrine. Lever power. Hmm. Okay. This looks like another button thing. So lever power. Uh, what happened? Maybe if I did something else? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm supposed to put the ball in the bowl. Okay, I guess that makes more sense. It'll probably group it properly. Yeah, it's like scoops it or something. Okay. Shoot, I didn't think about that. So now I guess we just need to extend this and then it'll go farther. There we go, perfect. Okay. Huh. Oh, and then I guess I need to launch myself. That'll be fun. Alright, yep, that's the end. Alright, on to the next shrine. Rise and Fall. Huh, Rise and Fall? That sounds so familiar. Was that the name of a, nut of a shrine in Breath of the Wild? Huh, I don't know. Probably not. So what's this do? Huh, okay. Well, I guess I can just recall it. Oh, strange. Wait, is that actually strong enough to push it? Wow, it is. The current. Okay. Oh, I, I see. I probably have to climb on top of it, then recall it. Actually, let me just recall it now. It's going to go over the edge. And then because it fell, it'll uh, lift me up. But uh, not before I get this chest, though. Alright, there we go. Nice and easy. I don't know what pushed it, though. Kind of makes me... Oh, that did. Okay. I was wondering, like, how did it fall? But that's what did it. Alright. Oh, and that's the end right there. Um, yeah, I got the chest. So what's this do? Uh, oh, okay. It lifts that. Okay, so that's simple. So we, we placed it there. We launch it. Let it fall. And then we'll just, um land on top of it, and then recall it again, which will thrust up into the air. Yep, just like that. Alright, simple enough. Uh, and that's the shrine. Alright, on to the next one. Water makes a way. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is actually very similar to the last one. Uh, or not the last one, but one of the ones we did where we just have to make uh, chunks and then make a bridge. Alright, so yeah, let me just do that. Alright, there we go. As simple as that. Huh. This is definitely breakable. They even give you a claymore to make a hammer with. But... Oh. Okay, there's the chest. Well, I just, I'll just take this then. Well, I guess I'll just use a bomb arrow. I don't uh, see a way of making a hammer anyway. Although I guess I could glue the hydrant onto the claymore maybe, but nah. Oh, that's the end right there. But we do have to fight the current. Oh, th that's actually really simple. Just make a bridge, place it over there, and then um, jump on it and recall it. Okay. All right, there we go. Simple as that. Huh, funny. Honestly, I feel like I should have done these before I did the fire temple because these are just teaching you the fundamentals of, like, making a lava bridge and recalling it. So, all right then. On to the last shrine of the video. Oh. Oh, no way. Okay, this is awesome. This gets to be the last shrine. This shrine in prison... Uh, yeah. Okay. Proving grounds lights out. Nice. Okay, so another proving grounds. We have absolutely nothing. Um, so, but this one is unique in that it is dark. Now, I'm sure these guys can probably see us just fine, regardless. So, I guess we just need to scavenge. Oh, no way, a light shield? Ha! <laughs> oh, that's really cool. I wish it would stay on regardless if I was holding it, but... Oh, there's rubies. Actually, I I want those. Yeah, forget using these as weapons. I just want them. Unless... Oh, I may not keep them. Oh, that is heart heartbreaking. Does this blind you? Nope, okay. Oh, wait, I could parry it. Okay, that did not do enough damage to warrant parrying. And also, I um, forgot this uses... Wait, what? Oh, you have one as well. Um, the light shield... Oh, jeez. Okay, this is getting complicated. 
Can I activate this without a sh weapon? Okay, that broke. Why are they just giving me flame emitters? I can't even activate them without a weapon. Oh, finally! Weapons! Jeez! Alright, okay, now I can fuse um, a flame emitter onto one of these things to make it a better weapon. There we go. There we go. Jeez, alright, yeah, these guys have a lot of health for me right now in this situation. Alright, so that just leaves that guy. So I have another weapon? Yeah, okay, so I can make another flame emitter weapon. So the, yeah, that makes more sense. I, I couldn't find any weapons, I was wondering, what am I supposed to do? Wait, I can actually probably sneak strike this guy. Oh, nice, that actually just finished him off. Wonderful. Alright, so I have three rubies. I hope I can keep those, those are very valuable. Hmm, three rubies. Maybe I did. I don't remember if I had any on me at the time, so... Alright, well that would be very nice if I could keep those, but I don't really believe that they would let me, so it could just be a coincidence. Oh nice, and a bright elixir. Alright then, well... So yeah, this will be our 20th shrine of the video, so thank you all very much for watching this episode on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And yeah, I figure I'll do a couple of these types of videos every now and then because, well, I need to do shrines to get light blessings. And I don't really like to do them just spontaneously in the middle of a video, but let me know what you guys think. Maybe I should do it that way. But regardless, with these 20 light blessings, I'm going to get five more hearts, but I'll do it off camera. And then after this episode, I'm going to head over to the... Um, Korok Forest and see if we can get the Master Sword. I have no idea how you get the Master Sword in this game. I don't know if it is reliant on hearts, but regardless, we're going to try. So thank you very much for watching once again. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And do subscribe because I'm going to keep playing Tears of the Kingdom uh, far into the future. So thank you all very much once again, and I'll see you later.